Hey, welcome to my Titan program day one. The Titan program is 30 follow along workouts with me over 30 days. You just need body weight and a pair of dumbbells to do this program, so minimal needed. And if you go in the description, there's a link to the workout calendar. It's an interactive PDF file where when you click on day one, it'll take you straight to the workout for that day. So let's get started with the first workout of the Titan program. So today we're going to do a 20 minute chest and back dumbbell workout. You're going to need either an adjustable pair of dumbbells or one heavier, one lighter pair. And you can have an optional cushion as well, which might help with some of the exercises. Let's get started with some press ups in three, two, one. We've got two difficulty levels we can do on this. You can either do a full press up on the way down and then drop to a kneeling press up on the way up or if that's too easy for you, just do regular press-ups where you have a slow tempo on the way down, keep the straight legs and push to the top. Make sure you maintain a tight core, engaging the glutes, bringing the elbows slightly in towards your sides rather than flaring out horizontally. Next up, you'll need a chair or a box to lean on. You're gonna take one of your dumbbells and you're gonna do a single arm row for 30 seconds. To engage your back muscles better, row the dumbbell up and back towards your pocket rather than pulling directly in a straight line up towards the ceiling. You want to maintain a flat back throughout the whole movement and help your lower back out by supporting your arm on that chair. We're going to do the same again now on the other side, another 30 second interval. Now you need to lie on your back because we're going to do a floor press. You'll need both dumbbells and keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight. To make this a little bit harder, we're going to maintain a neutral grip throughout the whole floor press. That means that your palms are facing one another and we're going to keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight to your sides. You're going to minimize the rest at the bottom so as soon as your triceps make contact with the floor press straight to the top and also minimize the time in the lockout maximizing the time under tension this is where a cushion could come in useful if you just put it underneath your shoulder blades and we're going to do a dumbbell pullover The most common mistake on this exercise is to turn it into a tricep extension. People do this by bending the elbow throughout the movement, but what we want to do is we want to put a small bend in the elbow, but then fix that angle consistent throughout the whole movement. So we maintain a stretch on the lats and don't turn it into a skull crusher. Good job, take a break. That's round one of three done in this first section. Maybe grab some water and get ready to go again for round two. Again, we're gonna start with those push-ups, a slow tempo on the way down and pick the difficulty level that suits you.
well done that's round two done we've got one more round in this first section and then we're going to change the exercises and move on to section two Good job, that's section one complete. Let's move on to section two. You're gonna need a lighter pair of dumbbells. We're gonna do three rounds. We're still using 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off intervals. We're gonna start off with some low to high alternating dumbbell flies. Let's get ready to go in 10 seconds. Here's a demo of the exercise. You wanna maintain a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole movement. So keep a solid core position so that you're not leaning back. I like to unlock my knees and then brace my abs. You're gonna draw the dumbbell up and slightly across your body. You're gonna try and squeeze your chest muscle at the top and you're making sure that the angle at your elbow is gonna stay the same throughout the whole movement. Alternating arms throughout the whole set. This was the hardest one to do with these dumbbells, but we're gonna do a reverse fly, keeping it as neat as possible. Maintain a flat back throughout the whole movement and minimize any rocking motion of your torso. These are fairly heavy dumbbells to do for this exercise, so 
So you can see I'm actually intentionally doing halfway between a row and a fly where I'm drawing out the sides nice and wide, pulling the dumbbells out, but also allowing a slight bend in the elbow just so that I can get a good pinch in my back muscles. Now we're gonna move on to a chest fly. You might wanna use a cushion again underneath your shoulder blades. If you haven't got one, don't worry, you can still do it without. Put a slight bend in the elbow. You should have relatively straight arms though, and then keep that elbow angle the same throughout the whole movement. Feel the pecs stretch. Don't go so far that it starts to hurt your shoulder. And then as you come in, you really wanna concentrate on squeezing your chest muscles together. Don't come so far in that the dumbbells touch. You want to maintain some tension on the chest by not touching them together. Moving on to some prone Y raises now. This is a great one for improving your upper back posture. So you're lying face down, making a Y shape with your body. The biggest mistake on this is using your lower back muscles. So we actually wanna relax the lower back muscles. Do this by engaging the glutes and drawing your belly button up and off the floor, and then pull your arms up using only your upper back muscles, mainly targeting the mid to lower traps and your rhomboids. Well done, that's round one done of the second section. We're doing three rounds, so you've got two more to go before the workout's complete. We're gonna do the same exercises again. So we're gonna start off with those low to high alternating dumbbell chest flies. We're gonna go in about 10 seconds, so get yourselves ready. important in this exercise to work on that mind muscle connection consciously trying to squeeze your chest muscle as you pull the dumbbell up and across your body maybe even pause for a brief second at the top whilst you squeeze that upper pec and then maintain a stable base throughout the movement There's round two of three done. So take a break and get ready to go for the final round.
Well done for completing day one of the Titan program. Make sure you download the calendar linked in the description so you can get going with day two and hopefully I'll see you at the end for day 30. If you enjoyed that workout, please support the channel by giving the video a like. Also, let me know in the comments how you found it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out my playlist. There's loads more follow along workouts that you can get involved with and hopefully I'll see you again soon.